Today, the brand new Lunar Festival event just arrived in War Robots with update 8.7. Let's go ahead and take a look at Operation E and the new special delivery for this event. First things first, we're going to take a look at the brand new uh, UI here of the of the missions bar or task bar and here you see the new lunar event and these are the items that you can get here and as always you can always get 10 operation xp and how to participate in the event they give you a little tutorial here um complete event tasks and earn tokens spend tokens to open chests with rewards and complete the main quest chain to unlock operation levels and the good thing i'd, I'd like about this this thing is, it's, 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 it's not much of a rework, but this was needed, especially this, the quest chain, to find out what task is upcoming next. Like, for instance, like, for instance, you, in, in, in around 12, 13 days from now, you need to prepare yourself with DCS robots in order to complete these missions here. And now that you know, you can already prepare uh, for that uh, task in order for you to claim these uh, 8 Operation XP, which that's really good. You know, it's a little foreshadowing of what's happening, and I really do like that, and this is actually pretty good. And also, if you guys want me to upload a video on how to complete these tasks really efficiently and extremely fast, uh, let me know. I'll gladly make that video for y'all. Next up, Operation E. Let's see uh, what stuff they did here. Uh, is there going to be any free stuff? It looks like... Uh, it's gonna be following uh, this dude around and uh, it looks like it's exactly the same thing there's no free rewards for it like I'm from free rewards I mean like a free robot free weapon I don't know some free goodies other than uh, other than just tokens yeah yeah, yeah. it's just gonna be exactly the same thing just just tokens free free tokens and that's it uh, that's a little anticlimactic but um anyways let's go ahead and move on with a special delivery chest and you know they kind of look a little goofy the chest but uh first things first let's go with the bronze chest and see what's up here here we get to see the new cruel angler pretty cool it's you know 10 percent more durability alongside with the cruel talon right here pretty cool alongside with the cruel claw I, 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 like i'm not gonna lie like i would expect this cruel angler cruel talon and cruel claw I, I would have expected it to be released last event since it was the cruel warm winter it doesn't make sense of why they released it in this event it doesn't make sense um but yeah that's that's just me um anyways here we see sylvia thorn which angler outside the ability restores its cooldown on kill meaning if you kill someone it restores your um your um uh angler ability i think that's what it means i don't know so when someone knows about that uh, let me know uh anyways here we see uh marsh gothic marsh okay so it's basically just a copy and paste from the last event are you serious it's, it's not that exciting bro like what? It's literally a copy and paste, man. Yeah, yeah. Look, oh, look, look at that. Look at that, guys. Two hundred and fifty components. They didn't even bother removing that. They didn't even bother. Damn, that freaking sucks. Sadly, no free resources like power cells or gold here. That's pretty disappointing. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, open our free chest and see what we get here. Since a couple of people wanted me to open up my free tokens here in the video and see what's up, I always go with middle because it's lucky. Like I said, it's lucky. Look at that. I got pretty lucky. I got out of my bronze chest um, 2,500 hazard components. So that's, that's that's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. I, I Hopefully, you guys get lucky as well. So next up here, we see the silver uh, event crate. And here we see the Huanji weapon here, which is the new laser weapon. Pretty cool. What is that? It says burnout. Oh, gradually. Oh, okay. I see. I see. That's pretty good. And here we see the new Karuga um special edition of the ether slants and glaive so let's go ahead and take a look here it kind of does look like a if it was more red and more yellow it would have looked like iron man but that would have been cool man i actually do like the color here i actually do like white red and yellow but yeah it looks pretty cool man i like it and uh oh yeah look at this here you can now get the uh aether lance and glaive uh here in the silver one so that's pretty good that's pretty good you know in case you want to get a, a titan here here you get the spear, claw, talon, jaw, Huanji components, spear components, claw components, talon components, jaw components, and finish it off with 100 tokens. So without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and open up this free crate here and uh, see what's up. Come on, special special weapon. Ooh, 250. That's oh no, that's not gonna be that's not gonna be good, man. Damn, damn, 250, bro, out of a silver one. I got more lucky on the bronze one than than I did with the silver one. Um. 
But anyways, let's go ahead and move on with the uh, bingo and see what's up here. Uh, so let's see uh, what we get here from the bingo. Yeah, it's literally just copy and paste. Nor live, frozen corn, and Thor. They removed the the the, the mother. Uh, they removed the drones and uh, microchips from here, so it's just filled with um, motherships here. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on here with the rare chest, and yeah, it's literally just a copy and paste here. Uh, the good thing is you have another chance on getting the Kraken entry, if you guys haven't gotten already, with the Kraken Vajra and Kraken Mahavajra, alongside with the original Indra, Maha uh, Mahavajra and Vajra. And here you see the new Turquoise uh, paint shop skin for the Emuji, which is literally a white skin. And here you see the new um, Oliver Song for the Hellburner. Ooh, so this is how you get him. Damn, I actually do really want to get this Hellburner because I do have a Hellburner and I do want to make some contents from this. So I can't wait to, to see if I'm able to get it and see if I'm lucky, man. Because that would actually be good. And here you get the new um, Tasia and Yoshi uh, weapons here, which I think this is uh, light and, uh, and medium here. Al alongside with 5,000 components. Damn, they pick Sonic could have actually sold it. Could actually, uh, you know, sold it for a, a little bit more cheaper. But, you know, like for instance, giving us freaking 250 uh, components here out of a rare chest like they could have done it but they i mean this rare chest actually does seem promising like pipe you get you, you 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 could either get the full weapon or just half of the weapon which that's actually pretty good this is actually a pretty good rare chest a pretty good pretty good rare chest anyways let's go ahead and move on with the legendary chest and here's a big boy chest because here you get the new emoji robot here which is you know the little teleporting robot here uh here you get the yaoji uh Teja, and here you get the Mao Ling. Upon landing, Emuji repairs the durability of its allies in small radius as well as activating their defense for a few short um, wait, for a short period of time. So basically her ability like after 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 landing, it, it repairs their ability of allies in, in areas and Emuji and also your allies as well get defense, which I'm guessing that's 60 defense right there. Which I mean that's that's, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good um pilot for the Emuji and um yeah, that's it for this freaking uh, uh, Lunar Festival overview in the whole event here. Uh, my personal thoughts on this, it's literally a copy and paste, man. It's like, there, there's there's nothing interesting here. It's just like, hey, new event. Oh, yeah, by the way, we just copy and paste it. Like, I, 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 like, like, I, I honestly thought it was going to be a bit interesting. Maybe they removed the 250 components. That would have been amazing. Or honestly, people were joking that they might have had 100 components next, but thankfully they did not. But probably in the future, they might actually do that. They might actually do that again. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, this this event isn't doesn't look promising. It's just a copy and paste from the last one, basically. But uh, anyways, on that note, what do you guys think about this event? Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Or you guys are unsure about it? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this War Robots video. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and click on bell notifications to stay notified on when I upload next or stream next. And see you guys in the next War Robots video or live stream. Bye-bye!